Hi guys, welcome to another function fitness workout video. Today we're going to be using some dumbbells, so you can do this at home if you've got some handy weight plates there, or you can do this at the gym. So in front of me I have uh, four kilo dumbbells ready to go. All right, try to choose something that you can do a bit of overhead stuff and a bit of leg stuff with, all right, because that's what we will be focusing on today. So compound movements are going to be a big area of this workout. Four exercises and four rounds. Each are going to be 30 seconds each. So have your interval timer ready to go. Grab your weights. Right, and we're going to start with a squat thruster. So holding the weights at your collarbone, feet a hip distance apart, we're going to squat and press up into the air. Okay, ready? Let's go. So we want to brace the tummy nice and tight, press the arms nice and high up into the air with that full extension, and squeeze your bum as you come up to the top. There we go, that's nice form guys. So maintain that technique the entire time that we're doing this. All right, 10 seconds to recover. Let's roll it off. So we're going to do the same movement again. All right, let's go. So it's very easy as we start to fatigue for our technique to falter. We're gonna try our hardest just not to let that happen. So if you need to take things a little bit slower, that's all good. You go for that. Great work. All right, 10 seconds. It's getting the heart rate up a bit, hey? Right, get ready for round number three. Same movement. So it's super important while you're doing this to take big deep breaths, fill up your lungs. That's gonna keep those muscles well oxygenated and keep us moving. We have one more round to go. How are you feeling? All right, set yourself up. Last set of 30 seconds. All right, so still reach nice and high. Try to get each one higher than the last rep. All right, tummies are still braced, pulling into the, our spine. Done. Excellent work with that first round, guys. Well done on that first block of exercise, guys. It's now time for exercise number two. So again, with our weights in front of us, we are going to pick them up. We have a bicep curl with an overhead press. So we're going to curl up, turning the thumbs out, press up, bringing the thumbs together, release back out, and control down. Four sets, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds to recover. All right, let's start our timer. Okay, roll the shoulders back, comfortable with your feet, big deep breath, and let's go. Curl, twist, down, release. Curl, twist, down, release. Now again, we want to keep that nice big extension right up to the top, controlling the way down, especially through that overhead press phase. Now, as we go through this, 
you're going to start to feel that nice little burn. Release it off. Might want to give it a bit of a shake. Keep the arms feeling fresh. Pick them back up. All right, let's go again. Now we're still going to need those tummies brought in nice and tight. Right, think of that as the foundation of all your strong movements. All right, how are those biceps feeling? Yeah, almost as good as those shoulders. All right, give it a quick shake. We've got 10 seconds. All right, we're already halfway, you're doing well. So back up they come. All right, let's go, next 30. You'll have a nice muscle pump after this running through the biceps, I bet. So just like we did with the first movement, if you need to take things a little bit slower, go for it. Just try not to stop throughout this next block. Done. All right, give it a shake. Guys, we have 30 more seconds left. All right, don't quit yet. Up we go. All right, we're on. So we're gonna try and make this the best round yet. Combining that movement with the biceps and the shoulders to get a good old muscle burn. Right, big deep breaths, let's carry it through to the end. Done, well done. Right, give it a stretch, biceps, we're just going to tuck the thumbs under and shoulders you can cross over your body and change sides. Excellent work with block number two. Okay, exercise number three. We're going to use our dumbbells to do a Romanian deadlift. So running from the front view, our toes are going to face forward, our shoulders are going to roll back and our hands are going to stay nice and close to our thighs. From here we're going to push the hips back and then up, keeping close to the legs. We go until we reach knee height and then we come straight back up. So from the side, our feet are hip distance apart, toes forward, shoulders are back. We're going to keep the back flat, lifting the tailbone up, and as soon as we get to that knee height, we're going to squeeze the bum and return to the top. Okay, let's put plates in hand. 30 seconds on the timer. Okay, weight in your heels. Let's go, nice and controlled. Keep those shoulders pulling back. Almost imagine that your back of your shoulders are going into your back pockets. All right, so we're up nice and proud. However, the tummy is still switched on super tight to give us that foundation of strength. All right, you might want to give it a bit of a shake out through the legs. All right, we wait our 10 seconds, reset your position, nice and strong, let's go again. Now your eye gaze is going to fall and rise with your body. So we want to be looking about a meter or two in front of our toe line. That's also going to help keep your neck nice and neutral in relation to your spine. Great work. All right, we're halfway there. Give it a bit of a shake. Should be feeling a bit of a burn through the back of your legs. Now the good thing about the deadlift is that we can really lengthen out those hamstrings 
but we also get to create strength through that lengthening process. So keep pushing your weight back. It's almost like a bend and snap. Great work, all right, give it a shake. Got one more round. So let's reset, last 30 second block. All right, keep the weights nice and close to your legs, like you're shaving them. All right, that's gonna make sure that focus stays through the hamstrings, the glutes, and partly through the lower back. Excellent. Okay, weights down. Well done. We're almost at the end of this workout. Our last block of exercises is dedicated for the shoulders. We're going to work our front raise combined with our lateral raise. So our front raise, we keep the arms straight up until we come in line with the shoulders. We control down and then we bring them out wide Again, in line with the shoulders and control down. Let's see how this goes. It's going to be a bit of a burner, I think. Okay, time is on. Weights are in hand. Shoulders are relaxed and pulled back. Okay, let's go. So front to start with, followed by the lift to the side. Remember, keep every movement in line with that shoulder height. We're not going to go any higher than that, please. All right, another alternative for you to take is just the single arm, one at a time. Excellent. All right, give the shoulders a bit of a roll. We're starting to feel that already. Okay, five more seconds left of recovery. Let's start. So to the front and to the side. On that lateral raise, open your arms out wide. I imagine you have wings and you're just learning to fly. Good, that's looking excellent guys, well done. Oh, starting to get heavy. Done, okay, roll them out. Whoa, the next two rounds are gonna be hardcore. Right, let's start. Let's just take it one second at a time. Just keep saying one more rep, one more rep. We'll get there in no time. Whoa, looking strong guys. This round is nearly over. Just keep persisting. Okay, roll it out. Last 30 seconds and you will be done. All right, let's see if we can all make it. Let's go. Oh, there it is. So grit your teeth, pull all the funny faces you want. We're gonna get through this one. Remember, breathe right to the end. Well done. All right, give it a shake. Give yourselves a big clap. Well done guys, you made it to the end of another Function Fitness workout. Hope you enjoyed that. All right, if you have any comments or questions, hit me up and I will endeavor to answer them to the best of my ability. Otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your day.